So the first step is to log on to the router's web interface. And this involves simply typing in the router's default IP address into our web browser. Now it's possible to run into difficulties here. If our computer is not on the same network as the default IP address of the router, we'll end up getting some nasty message that looks something like this. And we don't want that. What we want is we want to get our computer on the same network as the router. Now if you watch the 10 top networking terms you need to know portion of this course, you already understand the concept of different networks. So what do we do to get this computer on the same network as our router? Now first off, this may not always happen. There's always the possibility that the second you plug your computer into the router, your computer will automatically pick up a new IP address assigned to it from the router and you'll be good to go. Still, the chance that that won't happen still exists, so that's why I'm going to cover what to do about it. So what do we do to get our computer onto the same network as our router? Well, we can either do it manually or we can do it automatically. By manually, I mean we manually go into our TCP IP settings and change our computer network settings to be on the same network as the router. Or we can do it automatically which basically means simply shutting off our computer, letting it reboot, recognizing the fact that there is a different DHCP server on the network, and then automatically getting the correct IP address from the router. To do this manually on an XP box, we simply go to Start, Control Panel, network connections and then we find our network connection. Now these connections up here are USB connections so we can ignore those. This is a wireless connection and this is our local area connection. This is what we want to focus on now. What we want to do is right click on this and select properties and scroll down to TCP IP and click properties again and we can do one of two things. We can ensure that obtain IP address automatically meaning use DHCP to get our IP address is selected and then restart our machine. If we don't want to restart our machine we can manually type in an IP address that works with our router and what our router is looking for is 192.168.0.1 0 0.1. Okay, well that's the router's IP address. We don't want to type in the same IP address as the router. So we're going to give it something else, like 10. When I hit tab, it automatically gives us the correct subnet mask, which is something we discussed in an earlier section. We can also give it a default gateway. Guess what that is? If you're paying attention in the top networking terms section of this course, you'll know that that's the network router, which is 192. And down here are our DNS servers. We need DNS servers to surf the internet. Typically, these will be given to our router by our ISP, and then our computer will use the wireless router as its DNS server and then whatever DNS requests it needs to make such as calling up a website those requests will be forwarded by the router to an actual DNS server on the internet so we're not really concerned about that right now as a matter of fact I'm gonna cancel out of all of this because these are not really the settings I need I just wanted to show you how to go in and change your settings if you decide to go in here and do this manually what we're going to do is we're going to obtain an IP address automatically. In Vista, changing and finding our network settings is basically the same. It's just a little bit different trying to get to the settings. For example, if we wanted to use the IP config utility, we wouldn't go to start run. We would just start typing right down here to get to the command prompt. And then we would say,
to change our network settings instead of going to network connections we simply go to control panel networking and sharing center which is down here a faster way to get to network and sharing center is just to right click on this little icon down here from network and sharing center we go to manage network connections and this will pull up our local area connection and our wireless connection we're not we don't have a wireless connection right now we're still trying to connect to our router with our local area connection so we would simply right click here and go to properties just like we would in XP and it's basically the same thing except we want to watch out for internet protocol version 6 because that's for future use and we're not we're not doing that right now so make sure you click on internet protocol version 4 then go to properties and then it's the same exact drill as with an XP either obtain an IP address automatically or type in our own IP address